So we finally got everything moved in. Um, our box is unpacked. There's still some work that needs to be done. There's still some things that I need to get. I need to get some um, hanging hooks to hang a few more things that I have. I need to get some more things to organize the drawers in my kitchen, my bathroom. So it's not all done, but I'm gonna show you guys what we have so far. Okay, so this is the front. We have our cute little flag that Whitney made us. And then our little doormat and our wreath. When you walk in the front door. Hi, Lincoln. You walk straight into our living room. So we have this cute little thing right here that Jordan's mom actually gave to us, which we hang the keys on. But we hang Lincoln's leash right here behind the door with this cute little sign I got from the dollar store for like a dollar. And this right here I actually bought from a little consignment shop that my grandma works at for a dollar. And I went to Hobby Lobby and got a bag of rocks and filled it. This is from the dollar store and so is this one. And then a picture of me and Jordan. And then a little speaker there that we got from Jordan's stepdad. And then from the couch looking forward. Hi Lincoln. Come here. Watch out. Come here. Good boy. So you have a basket right here. I got this from Hobby Lobby, I think for like 11 bucks, but it was on sale. So I think overall it was like eight bucks with a little throw blanket that Jordan's mom gave me. And I actually bought this entertainment center from Walmart, I think for 60 bucks, maybe a little less. Um, and we just have our DVD player and then Jordan's Xbox, movies on one side, games on the other. And I'm eventually going to probably lower these shelves because they're adjustable and put little bins in them to store those in. But for now, I think it's fine. And then we have our Wi-Fi router. And then this is a love fern. Um, I have one. Jordan's mom has one. His sister has one and his grandma. And it's my favorite color. And I think it's so cute. So it's front and center because it obviously means a lot to me. And this is actually not our TV. This is actually Jordan's mom's TV. It's just temporary until we get ours. And then a little speaker there that we got from Jordan's stepdad. And then from the couch looking forward. Hi, Lincoln. Come here. Watch out. Come here. Good boy. So you have a basket right here. I got this from Hobby Lobby, I think for like 11 bucks, but it was on sale. So I think overall it was like eight bucks with a little throw blanket that Jordan's mom gave me. And I actually bought this entertainment center from Walmart, I think for 60 bucks, maybe a little less. Um, and we just have our DVD player and then Jordan's Xbox, movies on one side, games on the other. And I'm eventually going to probably lower these shelves because they're adjustable and put little bins in them to store those in. But for now, I think it's fine. And then we have our Wi-Fi router. And then this is a love fern. Um, I have one. Jordan's mom has one. His sister has one and his grandma. And it's my favorite color. And I think it's so cute. So it's front and center because it obviously means a lot to me. And this is actually not our TV. This is actually Jordan's mom's TV. It's just temporary until we get ours. We're our TV, we're going to get a 50 inch or so and we're going to mount it in the middle of the in the middle of the windows right there. And then I actually have pictures that I'm going to hang on each side of it and until that happens, I just have them sitting in a little bin over here. Um So, and then this is a little um, wooden crate that I got from Jordan's grandma. Um, I just put a little throw blanket in it and put all Lincoln's toys in it. So I made it into a little toy box for Lincoln. And then this is my bookcase. I also got this from Walmart. And up top is just a frame that I got from Walmart a long time ago. These pictures are of 
of me and Jordan from forever ago. And then behind it is um, a mason jar with flower petals and the bouquet I caught at a close friend of Jordan's family's wedding. And then this is another jar back here that I bought from the same consignment shop as I bought the other one. I just put a flower arrangement out of it. It's actually a little calendar that I got from the dollar store for I think $5. Um, and this is a little candle holder that I got from Jordan's sister. She used a lot of this stuff in her wedding for decorations and then some books and some journals and this is actually a scrapbook, um, a coloring book. I just used it as a bookend, just something to kind of add color to the shelf. And then I got this from an Etsy shop. You're going to hear Jordan in the background playing video games, sorry about that. And then Jordan's sister got me this for Christmas. And then this is my friend Caitlin who passed away recently. And then I also got this from Autumn and I have just a little candle sitting in it. And then this is the next shelf. This is actually just an empty vase. And then a candle that Jordan's mom got me for Easter. And I got this from Hobby Lobby and it may still have the sticker on it. Yes, $13.99, but I'm sure it was on sale. And then I got this from the same Etsy shop that I got that one from. I'm eventually going to get an and symbol and probably adjust these to where it says J and K. And then this is not going to stay here. This is just here temporarily holding these pictures until I can get them hung up. And then Jordan wanted a waterfall, so I found this at Walmart for like $5 and bought it for him. Um, I got this from Jordan's mom, and when I left my previous job, um, one of my residents made me a little paper crane, so it sits there, and then this is just a little flower that fell off. I got a mug of pins back there, and then this is a wooden crate. We keep all of Lincoln's, like, um, his support animal vests in here, extra leashes, um, normally his little doggy bags, everything in there. And then this is if you're standing in front of the entertainment center looking towards the living room. So we actually got all of this furniture from Jordan's parents. So the ottoman is obviously Lincoln's. He has completely claimed it. And then the couch. And then I actually got this couch and table at Walmart. I think I got it for $58. Um... I got this little decoration here, the little cactus from the dollar store, um, that from Walmart. And then I got these customized koozies. Um, I'll have to link them below because I'm not quite sure where I got them. I don't quite remember. But I remember I paid like $24 for all four of them. And then this is a little pullout drawer and I'm not sure what I have stuffed in here. Doggy bags and stuff like that. And then Jordan's recliner sits here. It's catty cornered. And then this is the wall as you walk in. I got this sign right here from Jordan's mom. Um, she said she got it at Kirkland's on sale. And then I got this from Hobby Lobby. It was on sale and I think I bought it for like $4. And then I ordered this off of um, an online store. It's called Smallwoods. I'm absolutely in love with all of their stuff. And then I got this mirror right here from Jordan's grandma before she moved to Virginia. And I've cleaned it a million times and I haven't got it clean yet, but it was really dusty and really dirty before I repainted it. So I think it's just gonna take some work to get that glass clean. And then I also got this sign right here from Hobby Lobby. Um, and then that lamp is from Walmart. So that's the living room. Lincoln, you're so cute. Okay, when you walk into the living room, it's all really open, which I really like. Um, oh, yeah. Right next to it is a little storage closet, which looks terrible right now, but we have like our coats and our hoodies and jackets and tennis shoes, sandals. So clothing and shoes in the back. And then Jordan has golf clubs in here. We're eventually gonna move those to the storage outside. We just haven't got to it yet. Um, we have the box is a carpet cleaner I'm going to return and then our router box in case we end up having to return it and then my Swiffer wet jet 
my broom and dustpan, my vacuum, Lincoln's dog food and an extra fan. That's all we really have in here, which really it's too much. And then on this wall above the door, I forgot to show it a while ago, is a sign from TJ Maxx that Jordan's mom got me. And I don't know if you can see it very good. I'm filming on my phone. But it's sunflowers hanging out of like different kinds of jars, which is so me because I love sunflowers. Um, and then my friend Whitney also made me this little sign and it's above our thermostat. And it says home sweet home. It has like the cotton stems hanging out the top and I absolutely love it. I've gotten so many compliments on this sign. So this is the dining room, which is right as you walk out of the living room. And here's Lincoln's dog bowl, dog stand with this food and water bowl. We got this off of Chewy.com. Um, his dog kennel, which eventually, it's not gonna stay here. Eventually, once he gets used to the apartment, I think we're gonna break it down and put it up. He really likes his kennel now though, so I think it's kind of like a safe zone, so we've left it the way it is. And then this is my hutch. I actually got this, um, a co an, an old coworker of mine actually gave this to me. It's really pretty. I originally was gonna paint it, but decided against it. Um, I got this sign right here from Hobby Lobby. Um, not positive where I got this candle. And then this is actually the bouquet I caught at Jordan's sister's wedding. So I've caught in two bouquets, but for some reason I'm still not married. <laughs> So this is inside the hutch, which I love. So there's um, a salad bowl and salad silverware. And then this is actually Jordan's great grandmother's um, anniversary gift. I put it in there. Um, we got some glass bowls that we're probably gonna put, use as candy dishes. Wine glasses and shoot, I don't know what these are for. I think, um, hmm. I'm not sure, I don't remember. But then there's the clock that my daddy gave me. So I think that it's just a really pretty setup in there. And then my purse always sits right here on the floor because I take it with me every morning. But this is just a silver tin that I don't really know what to put in yet. It's got Jordan's back roller in it for now. And then here's a little cubicle that I have. Dude. Hey, come here. I'm not Move. Um, I'm eventually gonna get different colored bins to put in it because originally this sat in my closet in the old apartment, so it didn't really get seen much. So I had, you know, the colors that, you know, whatever colors I wanted, but now that it's out in the open, I think I wanna get more of like a beige or a softer color to put there. But um, this is actually a bouquet of flowers that I made. Um, Whitney also made me this sign, and I love it too, a wax warmer, and then another little flower arrangement that I put together. So this is the dining room, and then this is the kitchen. So I'm going to start with the mat. I got this mat from Walmart. I got a lot of stuff from Walmart, and I bought it a little bit at a time when I first found out that we were on a waiting list for an apartment. And our coffee pot sits here, and this is my sink arrangement. Um, I have all of like, this is all, I got all of this from Grove Collaborative. I have my bubble up dish set and tray, my walnut scrub brush. Um, these are actually a couple of um, little scrunchies, scrub things that an old coworker of mine made to like scrub my pots and pans with. So they sit under my lotion. And then we're gonna have sweet corn for dinner. So they're just hanging out there. And then these are my measuring spoons that my dad got me. Uh, for my birthday along with this rolling pin and Jordan's stepdad hung it all up for me so I thought that they were too pretty to keep in a cabinet and then I actually got these canisters from Walmart too I don't remember how much I paid for these but I'll link them all in the description below and then above that is a cabinet that we keep all of our cups in so we have a fork here a spoon here and a knife here but up top we have um just some flower arrangements that me and Jordan's mom put together and organized in a way that we thought went together. And then this is the pantry right here. And it's just a small little pantry. But, um, not 
not very big, but big enough for us. And then I have, I got this Bon Appetit sign from Target. And then Jordan's mom gave me this um, cork holder. I'm not sure where she got it or how much she paid for it. But Jordan's mom helped me decorate all above the cabinets. I'm not sh the green vase she gave to me, the blue one. I think she got that in a Fab Fit Fun box. And then both of the other vases she gave to me. And this is just a strawberry jam uh, empty glass jar that we put flowers in. And then this is a mason jar that I got at the dollar store. And then that is a flower arrangement that I actually got at CVS. It was $16, but I loved the color arrangement, so I grabbed it. And then this, Jordan's mom gave to me, and it ties the fork. And the fork, the knife, and the spoon all together because all the colors are in there. And then up here I just have a jar, an extra glass jar, and then some wine. And then there's my friend Caitlin again. This is the fridge. Nothing fancy. And then this is a utensil holder that um, my brother and my sister-in-law actually got for me and Jordan as a housewarming gift. And then it came with some little canisters. I have cookie cutters in this one. And it came with this little spoon to hold my cooking utensils on and then another little canister and then here's a salt and pepper shaker that I actually also got at Walmart and then here's a little um, cactus, I actually got this at Forever 21 I think for three dollars and then here is my paper towel holder over here in this corner um, I got this off of Walmart.com too I ordered most of my stuff offline and then my friend Jessica actually made me this, this hand towel and one of my coworkers bought me this hand towel. I think she said she got it from Ollie's because it kind of goes with like my farmhouse theme and I love sunflowers. And then we have trash can. But that's pretty much all of the kitchen. You walk out of the kitchen, you're in the dining room. And this is just um, the hot water heater in here, but cute doors in here. See, it's just all of that kind of thing. And this is the linen closet. Yeah, I heard Shippy was one of the talking to circus now. That's what she was talking to. He's the easel. And then here he's is the, the bathroom, water. which is honestly one of my favorite rooms. So, when I was shopping for the bathroom, I had this rug, and I love the way this rug feels, so I knew I wanted teal. But when I was shopping for a bathroom, I found this shower curtain, which is a variety of white, light gray, and dark gray. So I was like, okay, then I will do my bathroom in black, grays, and teals. So I have a black and gray rug, another black rug, and then don't mind the pink hand towel, but I have, I painted these jars to match the shower curtain, and then I have a teal soap dispenser, um, a piece candle, Another jar I painted. And then this little rack I also got from Jordan's mom. But I have a teal candle in here. More gray jars. Teal candle. Some greenery. Um, I have a teal trash can. And then the teal and gray hand soap. Along with my Get Naked sign here. And then my powder room sign up there. So this is... And then we have some hooks on the back of the bathroom door. And then my makeup. And Lincoln, he has to follow me around everywhere. Because I wanted to see it, man. He's incredible. So this is the bathroom overall. He's a vocalist. And then we don't have our washer and dryer over here yet. They're still in the old apartment. This is where the washer and dryer is going to go. For now, we just have our laundry baskets. Put a little shelf that we have. Yes, yes, our detergent clear. on, our fabric yes. softener, our dryer balls, wrinkle refreshener, yes, fabric refreshener, you know, all that good stuff. Ah! Oh my gosh, Jordan's trapping me nuts. She's trapped in there. <laughs> and then here is the bedroom. Yes, on both sides. Okay, so Jordan wanted his computer oh, right here on this side. 
So his is there. And then Do it. we just have a fan set up here. And I'm eventually gonna take that plant Trade. and hang it up there in this corner and buy another one to put in that corner. Here's the bed. <laughs> And then our dresser. The I, board, I honestly thought I had that. The the <laughs> it took me forever to figure out how I wanted to hang this stuff, but there was work shirts here. And I really thought I had that. Other side is a mess because he hasn't organized it. I bought this sign, uh, I think from Hobby Lobby. And this is my favorite setup out of the whole bedroom because it's just so peaceful. And then here is my side of the closet. It's a mess too because I'm in the middle of organizing it, but it's a good start. <laughs> does the job very quickly and then you never see it again. All the time, but And when you go back into the living room, these are French doors. And out here is our patio. So we have our own little storage closet out here. And I have this yellow ribbon hung up because my brother is actually deployed. And while they're gone, you're supposed to keep a yellow ribbon to show that um, you're praying for them and that you're showing them support. And so that ribbon will stay there until the day my brother comes home. And then I actually got this from my job. Um, it was a plant that we had in the office, but it was starting to die a little bit. So they sent it home with me because they think that I can revive it. And I have my own little succulent thing going on over here. They're not looking too good right now either, so I'm not on my A game. But that's all there is. So that's what we have so far, um, which it's going to change again here soon because fall's coming up. And I obviously want to decorate again for fall. Uh, I love to decorate, so it's going to be changing soon. But I'll keep you guys updated with any new decorations that we get or... Um, with anything that changes. So stay tuned and thanks for watching.